be brave is there anything good on the radio so we just let brawn and pickles for the first time in with smoky our and big buck smoky didn't try a single thing he smelled them he loves the babies he's always been a super sweet gentle buck Whoa, cleo. cleo get him brawny all right, we're saving the milk today. I'm hoping to make some cheese. Take it to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say Hold on to That's all the milk we got from Fern and Gertie. Quite a bit. So we're getting a lot of questions about the machine, where to buy it, this and that. Jake made this machine, like he made this piece and attached these. These were bought by Hamby, but you can buy them from Simple Pulse, which I recommend. Well, you can do either, but. So he made this, and then we bought the jar lid from Simple Pulse. And we bought the inflations from Hamby, but you can buy those from Simple Pulse also. And then we already had the pump. The reason why we did it this way is because I did a lot of research on the pulsators themselves. And we bought the pulsator from Hamby because this is kind of a little bit more commercial grade in it. And uh, later on down the road, it's going to be powerful enough to do, to milk two goats off of it. And um, the regulator is kind of an important piece because it regulates the vacuum. So a lot of times, like, I really recommend, like, if you're gonna get a machine, get a simple pulse machine because it's all put together for you. Um, so you don't have to kind of mix and match and find the parts and pieces. If you're on a budget, and you, you can do something like this. Um, we've just purchased the pulsator. The pulsator was $100, a little over $100. And then the regulator, I think, was 10 bucks and the gauge was about 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. I had the pump. Uh, the most expensive part was the inflations, which were 200. The whole setup probably cost us about three, a little over 300 bucks. For $235, they gave us a 5 8 milking line with a 5 8 T, and then the half inch lines and the vacuum lines. So basically, from Hamby, we got this right here for $235. And I didn't have to, and that's the only reason why I got it from Handy is because I, I was having trouble on the Simple Pulse website trying to figure out what size hoses everything need to, needed to be. And so I just figured, well, we'll just get it from Handy because we we're getting the pulsator from Handy also. Yeah. So. Okay, I gotta filter the smell. <laughs> and the filter is so clean when you use a machine. You could, you could also get an inline filter for your machine. So if oh, you, yeah. If you have like an existing machine, you could buy an inline filter. We may buy an inline filter, but... I kind of like doing this. Yeah. I don't know why. All right. Looks like we're making some, some goat cheese. Cutting some lemons. We're going to do a, a third cup. Freshly squeezed. Freshly sque hand squeezed lemons here. Gotta squeeze them babies pretty hard. There we go, there's another one. Using that lemon squeezer that we ordered. It's another Amazon product. Okay, there's all our ingredients. Ooh, look some, ooh, some cheesecloth. That must have came in the mail the other day too. So we've got all our ingredients ready to go. We're heating the milk, we're stirring. We're stirring a little bit more. Still stirring. Okay, looks like, okay, we've added our ingredients. 
Now we're hanging out. Okay, we've hung out. Now we're putting the cheese into the Amazon thing that we ordered. And it's looking more like cheese now. So a couple more scoops of the, the cheese and then it might be edible. Well guys, the homemade incubator failed us again. Incubated these eggs for 18 days and then after 18 days, we didn't turn them and we cranked the humidity up to 60, about, I mean we maintained about 69% humidity or so. The temperature fluctuated a little bit. Uh, we thought chicken eggs would be a little bit easier, but unfortunately nothing. We did roll them, so when we moved them, we just kind of rotated, we just rolled them kind of like this, you know, we would just kind of move them around a little bit. A little gentle, more gentle than that. But we'll roll them around a little bit and uh, nothing, uh, nothing happened. So let's go check on our broody hen. We're gonna run down and check on old broody Judy. See how she did with her eggs. Pretty sure it doesn't, it doesn't smell very good. So I think one of them broke in there and it's bad. It's bad, it's really bad. All right, I can smell, ooh. I can smell Broody Judy from here. So Broody Judy's still on them. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. They're not, they're not alive, Broody Judy. So I think we're gonna call it. So we're gonna get her off of them and we're gonna clean them out. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try again. We did get lots of ducks. We got eight more uh, runner ducks. So we got some pretty cool colors. There's our little runners. There's our little runner guys. Hi guys. So we have eight runner ducks and then we've got these two assorted ducks. We're not sure what they are. Look how cute they are. Two blacks. Two whites. Two whites, which is the yellow ones, the all yellows. Uh, one trout, I think we called it. Okay. And one blue. Oh. Nice. Okay, get out of there, Brutal Judy. Okay, get out of there, Brutal Judy. Ooh. Ooh. This is bad. All right guys, we got power down to the barn and the first thing we did was hook up the hot water heater. So we should have hot water now down the barn. Should. <laughs> How fast does it get hot? It should be pretty quick because it's not uh... Still Ooh. cold guys. Warm. Oh, hot, hot. Oh. It's hot! There is hot water. Is Good that, job. Is that... Alfalfa pellet. Just a little bit. For brownie. Brown's doing really good growing. He's looking so nice. Yes. And Pickles is his friend. All right, this is an amazing, amazing trick you can do with bottle babies if you have to dose them with something. You get your syringe, you put it right there, and you just give it to them. Come here, Pickles. See if he'll still remember. Want that? Ooh. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, so Ron will suck it down. Yeah. So if you're having trouble, you know, giving the babies medicine or anything like that, we found that the nipple trick, the nipple trick works really well and they suck it right down. Oh, oh, don't push it. <laughs> Here. We just gave them their coccidia prevention treatment. Take
make it to a better day. A rocking chair and a glass of wine.